Oh, yep. So here we are, episode 75, 15th week of the year. It's April 17th, and uh, the theme is still face masks, facial coverings, for CDC orders. Hard to hear me, isn't it? Hard to breathe. But again, safety first, right? So here we go. Oh, this, by the way, leftover from this past summer. I um, did some flooring and, uh, you know, don't want to breathe in all that sawdust. Maybe I'll show you it to you sometime. Anyhow, here we go. And uh, opening up with... Oh, man, it's uncomfortable, too. Fiona Apple's Release. Got great reviews came out today on Friday, and uh, here's a little bit of what's happening. This song is uh, what song is this? It's so new. Oh yeah, on I go, on I go. So here we go, and on I'll go. Let's talk about the gossip. So anyway, she got a really great review for it. It's her fifth album. I don't know. You tell me what you think in the comments. Um, critics always see things differently than the public so anyhow um, what else here oh yeah so <laughs> Comic Con and Taylor Swift both of those were cancelled due to the coronavirus or COVID-19 um, and John Krasinski is going to host a uh, virtual prom this weekend so we'll see how that goes maybe I'll have an update for you on Monday um, as far as the news goes, so 10 things you should know, or some things you should know. Uh, Trump basically is telling states to liberate from coronavirus restrictions. Uh, Michigan was one of the ones that got it going. They said liberate Minnesota, liberate Virginia, great Second Amendment, states under siege, etc. <clears throat> um, and what else here? Trump announced a $19 billion plan to help agriculture, definitely. We need our farmers, we need our food supply, the food chain. So that's probably most important. That money, might even if we have to put as much as we can into it, let's do it. On we go. Uh, stocks did climb, they're rebounding. Um, and what else? Oh yeah, Florida beaches are starting to reopen. So maybe a little hope on the horizon. Again, on we go. And um, Hong Kong, they've opened up and now they're doing their demonstrations and the police are cracking down again. And SpaceX is going to launch on May 27th. And finally, they're going to carry for the first time humans and they're going to take them to the International Space Station. We won't have to rely on Russia. And again, Comic-Con was canceled. And uh, that's, that's it. So let's get started with the countdown, shall we? So again, Percy Faith is still at number one, 1960, theme from Summer Place. So here we go. Enjoy this music. We'll get these dishes going. Here we go. Set this up. Oh, wrong way. How in the world did it get twisted around? You know, I rehearsed this. Enjoy the music while I figure this out. We had it rehearsed. Why is it pointing down? Oh, there's a dog, huh? Come on. Alright, we'll turn it the other way. Sorry about the squeakiness. I'll pause it here a minute. I'll pause the song. There we go. It's a little bit better if you'll see as it goes on. So, <laughs> theme from a summer place. That's why people should wear a face mask. So <laughs> cough into it. Theme from a summer place. First faith in his orchestra. How many weeks has it been now? It's been number one. Man, beautiful music for a beautiful day. Especially when I listened to Fiona Apple before that. It's just such a difference. The music. Out. I don't have a lot of dishes, so we'll see how far this takes us. We might have to load the dishwasher, do some other cleaning. But here we go. Um, I have a slow cooker, and I'm gonna let that soak. Oh, 
I was doing some research. I can't believe how some people wash dishes. I was thinking I was going to give some tutorials maybe on dishwashing. Um, it's funny the way some people wash dishes. They don't even soak them. Just kind of run over with a dirty sponge. And, uh, not here. Not here. See, I already loaded this bad boy up. I'm going to put a little more in there. What a song, huh? Theme from a summer place and summer's on its way. And actually Jackson 5 were at number two because the Beatles are at number one with Let It Be. Can't help but sing along with this, can ya? Suds up, let's get her started. April 17th. I hope you're not alone. I hope you have somebody to share it with and we'll get through it. We'll just have to understand there'll be an answer someday. Let it be. So that's the Beatles. And the next song is Buffering. Because I have to get a new router. 
those things. But everything else was this. Kink well, you can always uh, talk to somebody because of social distancing and the restrictions of where we are. Call me, Blondie. 15th week of the year, 1980. Number one, all these stuff.
talked about the rise of new country, we also have the uh, Spanish influence. stronger music of the 21st century. Some more diverse music charts, pop charts, a more diverse reflection of the uh, culture. Santana, Maria Maria. Number one. Two number ones are in four months. Let's go. 2010. Rihanna, still at number one. With Rude Boy. It's catchy. It throws on. Check out the videos. This is kind of an 80s boy. Late night. Check that out at the uh, playlist at Link's Talk Videos. Give a shout out to Grey Gus. Thank you for your comments. Francis. Let's talk about the music people sending your thoughts, huh? The conversation going. Puzzles around their YouTube channel. This is supposed to be. Thanks for sharing conversation. I turn to a
There you go, those were the number one songs for the 15th week. This is the highest debut for the 15th week of the year 1990. Madonna, and I put it right after uh, Rihanna because I think they kind of have uh, that vibe. And Madonna being the one who paved the way for artists like Rihanna. So this is Vogue. Debuts on the charts at number 39. So that's a nice debut. Coming right up the top. 40. We'll see where it ends up.
when you're dancing, it's Friday. That's it. Done. Suds up, water down the drink.